Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a manga comparison for Chobits by Clamp. Today we're going to be looking at the normal volume versus the 25th anniversary edition. So we're going to look and see what the differences are. So let's get started. So the first difference is obviously the cover. The cover is completely different. This is hard cover and this is like soft cover. It's pretty old too. Also, the images are very different. This has two volumes. This only has one. Let's look at the backs. Both very different. This has more pretty detail. This has like images and a little description of Chi. And the descriptions are very different. This is like more simplified. This is more detailed. I can show you the difference if I zoom in here. You guys can pause if you want to read the differences. Okay, I am gonna move back to the other book. This just says how many volumes are in it and extra color pages, but here's the description of this one. So you guys can pause to read it. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out. One thing is definitely the same on the back. They did keep it rated 16 plus on both of them. Also, the edges of the books are very different. So we're going to look on the inside now, but we're going to look at the Tokyo Pop version first. So let me move that out of the way. Let's open this up. We got images here. That doesn't matter. Images here. This doesn't matter because it's Tokyo Pop releases. And we have the chapter page here, which has chapters up to... 12. 12 chapters. And we got image here, Chi. These are supposed to be in color, but they're black and white. Black and white full image. And black and white here. So let's see the difference on the newer version. First we open up different image completely of Chi. She looks so cute. Chapter list is a lot longer. It's up to chapter 24, so it has two books in it. And it also says who is part of Clamp right here. All the authors here, which is a nice touch. This image is in full color, which looks amazing. Then we got this image in full color. Looks beautiful. This, this image in full color, which is really nice. That's one major difference. In this volume, the author's names are listed on like the back of the book here. Like it talks about Clamp as a whole here. Okay, let's look at another part. I wanted to show you guys this strange translation part here. It's in this bubble up here. He's talking about how Chi could be part of his life and everything. Okay, I'll read it for you. Happens all the time. I've seen it on TV like I Dream a Genie. That's an awesome show, by the way. If you guys hadn't seen it, check it out. It's dumb luck like that can only happen when you got a fairy godmother granting you all the wishes. Or that robotic cat, Doron, finally starting... My luck is finally starting to change. That's what he's talking about here. 
this is where it gets Americanized in this edition. Like, they tr change some things up to make it more relatable to American audiences. Or audiences that grow up with, like, Jimmy Jean and stuff. But in this version, if we get to it, I'm going to reread it again, this whole page. I just found it very interesting. Oh yeah, I read about this before. Like in manga. I got a lucky feeling she'll be like a female version of Domoron. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I could be... Uh, I could be really... I keep reading this wrong, I'm sorry. Could I be really such a lucky guy? They did keep a little bit of the, the manga he's talking about referencing here, but they mostly replaced it with Adjim Genie. So in this book, the translations are more accurate. They hadn't Americanized anything, so it's like straight from original copy of Japan. So that's a big difference. But in this version, if you read it, it's still like the same story. It's this more... More, um... U.S. culture and more worded U.S. kind of style, so. So there's nothing wrong with this one exactly, but it's just translations are weird. Another thing that's different that this volume doesn't even have at all in this one I want to show you. It has translation notes. It has the translation notes. So you guys know what they're talking about that is not Americanized now. So they give little hints in explaining what is what. Like for this play, they explain what the character he's referencing from. Yeah, a lot of new references for each chapter. And the credits are here. And it also includes beautiful artwork. This is the original cover. This is another interesting thing. This is the original artwork of this. This is the manga cover. They like darkened it a little. And this is actually very light. So they darkened it for the cover, which is very interesting. Here are some more images. This is so beautiful. I just really love this book. This is really nice. Ooh. And basically, these are the major differences. At the end of this book, they just put the What's About Volume 2 and the same image that was originally on the front of the first chapter page here. That's all they did with the back on this one. So this is all the differences, and that's pretty much it. I'll put the description box down below where to get this one at. I would really recommend getting this one. I know there's an omnibus version that has like four and one for the whole series, but I don't know if the translations are like this one or like this. I don't know what that exactly. But I would say get this one if you're trying to look for this, if you're a new reader looking for the new series. But it's more pricey this way. It's more reasonable price getting it individually. So, everything about this will be in the description box down below. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll be making more videos soon. So, see you guys later. Bye!